Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are chasing after a bunch of gold. Uh, <laughs> and Minsk. Rakoth. Roa. Minsk just joined our party with Little Boo. Minsk and Little Boo. So this is the ladder that she went up. So let's see what's up there. Crap. Let's see what's around. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Oh. This is fine. This is fine. Let me just pick these up. Oh, we don't have any trap disarm toolkits? No. Asterion has them all. Oh, no, you have them. Okay. Hold on, I'm just sending these back to camp in case something explodes. No worries. Whoa, 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 oh, God. I didn't see that there at all. You were worried about me failing a roll? It doesn't happen. No, 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 I almost stepped on it. Okay, there could be more traps. Potentially, I guess. Yep. What's that? Um, it looks like a, a, a marble plate trap, but I can't target it. Oh, yeah. Weird, eh? Oh, there were thieves tools. Can you grab those? I'm sorry. Where? Where were they? They were on, a, they were on the um, shelves. This actually just takes us right out into the inner city, so... Oh, oh disarm. Okay. okay. If we don't push through. I'm going to talk to these people that are right out here and see if they saw somebody run past. Why would there be day, isn't it? a plate here, though? Why Do would you walk over here? I know, right? Maybe it's I kind of want to step on it to see... Left. You want to save it? Um, sure. I mean, you'll probably just take health damage, if anything. <laughs> Click. You want to step on the other one? Yeah, I will. Maybe something will happen. Ahead. Click. Click. Weird. Huh? Okay. I, okay, so I bet you, I bet you those open this door when you come in from that side. That's that's what's happening. Right, right, right. Because right, 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 this, right, right, right. Uh, when you when you leave here, you'll see it says "keep out" on the other side. So that that's definitely what's happening there. There's no cure for a broken heart. The lower city. But a bit of sunlight. And fresh We're pretty air close helps. to the steel watch. Sometimes. I'm just looking at. I'm talking to these guys to see if they saw anybody leave from here, but so they're not carrying me. Carrying, carrying it all. Do you ever think we should have had another one? Um. Yeah. So either we just kind of keep doing our thing. And hope that we find that person, or yeah. So there's um, the, hold up? the cloister for Shadowheart's the parents. Yeah, I wanted judgment. to talk to Mistra at Stormshore Tabernacle. I don't know where that is though. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Oh, there was that uh, submarine thing that we wanted to check out. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. We are or right we just... close to the Steel Watch. Yeah, I was thinking we go to the Steel Watch Foundry since yeah, we're right there. Let's do that. Let's kind of more that. of a main quest thing. We've Ooh. been doing some side stuff for a while. Auto saved. That wasn't me. It wasn't I. So there's a big bridge here. Okay. Hang him. Hang him till he's dead. Oh, there's um. Okay, so there's red Chart people Derwood. inside. Antinia the goon. He the watch or leave. Okay, watch or leave. Let's listen in. It's not a lie. Volo. If you oh. Would just listen. Oh, hilarious. I could explain. Hilarious. You have done quite enough explaining, Volothamp Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions. Oh, he's your getting into conspiracies. trouble. Conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Here, here. Attention seeker. Here, here. Agent of chaos. Your parasite stirs in recognition. 
This man is infected. Rock the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Psst. Don't you stand there. <laughs> Help me, God we all damn it. We all Help me. Of course, we'll save you, Volo. I think this mob has made the rather silly mistake of taking you seriously. Now, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to judge based on appearance, but that guy does have like, like skull tattoos, <laughs> like bones. And what do you stuff. mean you don't want to judge based on appearance? I'm judge. pretty, I'm pretty confident <laughs> all of your comments recently have been about my appearance. <laughs> what crime is this man guilty of? If he is guilty, where's the evidence? Where's the trial? This isn't justice. This is mob madness. The newcomer speaks and speaks of evidence, and trials, and justice. And in so doing, they delay their very... I have a plan. What are you doing back there? I have a plan. Where is the guy that's talking? Certainly. I don't see the, um, I don't see the dude talking. Just kind of annoying. Oh, he's got a torch, dude. Create water. Oh, okay. We're actually in We're here. fighting. We're fighting. I was going to go and tr cast, um, charm person on him, but I couldn't see him. Oh, there he is right there. It's like, oh, he did light it on fire. Yeah, so is Volo, like, cooking? He's in a smoke powder barrel. Yeah. So we could put we need out water. the fire. We need water. Yeah. Or water? we can move Volo. Yeah, either one. Um, I don't think I have a water barrel. Do you have a water spell or do you have water? I have water bottles. Yeah, you'd have to throw a bunch of them probably. Uh, do we, is there a create water scroll? Hmm. No. Only barrel, only, uh, jugs. Or co cone of cold? Oh, yeah, I could maybe do, like, an ice, I could do an ice storm, but, like, underneath him, I think, is still gonna go up, right? Is it? Yeah. I can't hit him with the ice storm, he'll die. He could, he could die. Oh, I could use Globe of Invulnerability. Uh, the barrier okay. that makes everything inside immune to all damage. But that's not till okay. Gale's turn, so. Yeah. And Volo's going to do before something him. now. So I'll toss a water bottle, I guess. Good luck. Yeah. I don't know if you can hit that whole thing. The rail cart has five. Okay. So the rail cart itself is burning. It has five health left. It can take one to four damage on its turn. So I assume on Volo's turn, it's going to take one to four damage. And then the next turn, it probably breaks and those things explode. There's I got so much crap. My inventory. There it is. It's a pretty big area. Okay, well, good. Let's hope it works. Um. Try not to damage the cart. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Yeah, that's what I fear. Okay. I could throw more. So the cart, the cart is actually wet now, so it's not on fire, but if you could get the one behind, I feel like that's solid. Okay. It's a steel watch guy right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, he's just chilling. <laughs> We're out of his uh, jurisdiction. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. A little bit of fire on the other side. Yeah. But it's not burning anymore. It's not. It's wet. Ah! Oh. oh, my dear God. 
Gale never gets attacked. Okay, they're attacking us. It'd be funny if they just shot Bolo anyway. Well, yeah, that's what I would do if they really cared about it. Yeah. Just throw the torch at the barrels. All right, buddy. Okay, I do have create water. Should I just plot that down just in case? Uh, it's up to you. If you can put out the fire that's left around him, it's not a bad idea. I don't think I have enough movement. Okay. Um. How about conjuring a f water elemental? Do you have Sounds spike good. growth on her? This would be like quite literally perfect no. for it. No, I don't think I do. I have a uh, wall of thorns. Okay, that's cool too. <laughs> that's that's cool too. It's fine. Can I heal him? No, no, no. Okay. Does your water elemental have like an AOE water thing that he can just spray over there? Never used it before, so I'm not sure what he's got. But probably. Okay, this hamstrung thing is really causing me problems really causing me problems because I can't get close enough to put that thing on it. Um, Can you jump to get a little closer? No. I can't. Because that uses your movements anyway, right? Um, so that's a bit of a problem. Do we have a potion of cure hamstrung? Hamstring. <laughs> Oh, it says removed by healing. Oh, okay. So any potion. That's what it seems like. So I'll take uh, just a little baby heal. Yeah, there you go. And we'll just try this. Do you have a way to move him? Like, um... I do have, like, dimension door. Or what's the... What's that other thing? Um, telekinesis? Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah, I do. This is gonna throw him. Oh. Um, well... He's got 23 HP. Do you want me to throw him? I can. Easy. I'll throw him right to Karlak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good. Good enough. I wonder why that happened like that, though. Because he's restrained, maybe? Uh, or he was restrained? I, I don't know. I feel like I could have just cast the invulnerability globe. Sure. Would have been easier. I mean, it may be fine, too. Like, keep that because it's wet, he's not... A, it's probably fine. Okay... Let's go. Multi-attack and Winter's Breath. Yeah. We can hit a bunch of them. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this will be interesting. Who's this Kale Doriax? Do I care if she dies? It's a civilian. Okay, I'll, I'll care a little bit, I guess. You can hit this one. No, it's fine. Look at the double axes. See that. Can't touch this. Oh, hello. Okay, frenzy time. 
Let's go Volo. Let's go Volo. If he runs into the fire, I swear to God. Probably will, eh? Pretty good chance, yeah. Do I have... Oh, we've got uh, non-lethal on. Oh, okay. So, turn it off. Full lethal. <laughs> You're dying. Keep walking. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. See, they're jumping. Yeah, some of them are smart. Jira's getting wrecked over there. Okay, so let's transform. Uh, da, 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 let me try Panther. Jugular strike. Pants jump. So, actually, Panther has special attacks against people that are prone, so it's probably worth taking some damage to hit your that churg guy. I don't have actions to attack him. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah, you don't. Just engage with them. Run, Volo, run! Not, no. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That's what we were worried about. Wasn't it? It's like literally the wrong thing to do. Don't. Jesus. The damage. It's real. I too am burning. So does... Okay, water elemental does take damage if it go. Wait. Oh, you lost your spike thing. Oh, because I cast haste. That's fine. I'm gonna pop over here. Keep these uh, yeah. no, it's good. archers engaged. Good. Ow. Rare miss. That Oh, I actually missed? Yeah. He has a, you got a 15 in total. Wow. Owlbear. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like a little mini owlbear. Yeah. Just as hairy. She probably got a big bush, eh? Whoa! <laughs> Tiefling bush? No? Knobster is <laughs> acting like a bush right here. Very confused. <laughs> I go down, I go up. I go down, <laughs> I go up. I go down, I go up. Does not know what to do. Sniper. Holy crap. He had a range penalty there for sure. So, Jugular Strike 8 to 28 pounds, 5 to 26. Leap at a target to bite it and knock it prone. I think I'll just Jugular Strike this one. Maybe not. Yeah, knock it prone and then. Oh, do, you get, do I get two attacks? Yeah, so if I were you, I would go for the guys that are already prone. I don't, I don't know how Jahir is built. I don't know if she gets multiple attacks. She doesn't. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay. I think I'll switch her out for a uh, good old Shadow Heart. You think? Oh, yeah. Little dagger action. She has one health, that's good. She died. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. Uh, she went back into the daggers. It's embarrassing. I 
taking dagger damage? No, you're taking fire damage. Because you, you had burning. You no longer have it, though. What the hell? Finally. Die. Go, we go up. Where did Bobo go? He's running down. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, yeah. Broke my dagger concentration there. Okay, Knobster. There we go. Now they won't go down and up again. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was damaging me more watching them do that than any attack. <laughs> Mental damage. <laughs> I could do two jugular strikes. Oh. I could do three jugular strikes. Okay. Two health. Two health special. Mm -hmm. It's one health or two health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess she's staying up. Uh... Actually, if there's anything I cool we can do here. Now. I can't quite reach the guy over there, is basically what I was looking to do. So, whatever. Torment. Hey, uh, Steel Watcher, you want to give us a little hand here? A rare Protect miss. The city? Protect the city? How are we 85-ing these? And I know, that's, that's what was happening with me, too. So, something's up with these guys. Um, no, I rolled three, that's why. Uh, I rolled two, and then I rolled a three. So, yeah. Let's finish him. And save Volo once again. Make sure we don't accidentally aggro those steel watchers, eh? Yeah. That would be bad. That was, that was close. Nice. Okay, let's go talk let's to Numbskull. Let's the things, too. Are you talking to someone? Oh. Yeah, the steel watch. I guess I looted the corpse and they weren't happy with it. Where the frick is Volo, dude? Dude, hey, he went back to the camp. I swear to God. Come here a moment, will you? So don't don't loot the corpses. Is what you're saying? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Trust me, I'll catch up to you. God, I really thought I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again. What's an heroic story without a little risking of the risking. neck? Risking, eh? As you know it, they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. Hm. You of all people will, uh, know what I mean. I'll, uh, tell you what I know, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, weapons about. Meet me at your camp. Excellent. Hmm? Let's okay. keep him at the camp as long as possible so we have a merchant there. Yeah, right? Be nice. Okay, we'll rest. Wait, do we not have any, uh... Did we not long rest recently? Uh, yeah, we we did pretty pretty recently. But did you, like, blast a bunch of short rests or something? Because we don't have any. Um, I think I used one. Okay. Maybe you double-clicked. Boy's trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. <laughs> you do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. 
<laughs> I love it. I love the looks on our faces. Yeah. That sounds like a fun evening. It is well that Boo's innocent ears still ring from all this shouting. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. Mm. Always intimidating, buddy. Always. <laughs> That's you. No, I'm not taking that. Oh, you're Jahira. Oh no, you're you're not. Why not? I d we're not gonna kill the emperor. You're not saying you're killing the emperor. Are you reading it? Does Minsk know you're? Re oh, sorry, that we are ready. <laughs> I th I, th I thought I thought it said that we are ready. Okay. No. It's just uh... saying like you're actually commanding respect for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't see your roll. God damn. I got a, a four and a one, man. What do you need? An eight. <laughs> I need a ten. I got eight. <laughs> <laughs> you can use an inspiration. Let's do one more. Yeah. Do we only have one left or do we have two? No, we've got two left. We had three. Uh... That's funny. My own foolishness does not absolve Minsk of his. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Weklaren? The Weklaren, wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. There is no higher title nor deeper bond in all of Rashomar custom. Wiglarin? Means, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Boo agrees you're a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. <laughs> it's not wrong. What's it? It's a co codependent, except one way. Yeah. <laughs> um, I suppose there's some twisted logic at play there. Is there? Wonderful. Another Minsk in the making. <laughs> Not without a companion, I'm afraid. Who will ask some of his sewer-dwelling friends? I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? <laughs> okay. Let me dismiss uh, Jahira here. You're done with her? <laughs> Are you going to bring Minsk? No, I'll bring Shadowheart back. Why? Why not Minsk? Because I like her. Oops. Speak. Uh, You're sure? Playing with her emotions now. Okay. Shadowheart's the best, man. Well, Volo is not here yet, so maybe after we sleep. Oh, there he is. Found him. He's hiding. I'm going to talk to him. Okay. Wait, we have actually two merchants in camp. Oh, Withers shows as a merchant. That's right. It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? You got caught in some kind of lie? Um... Did you speak out against the cult of the absolute? Oh, interesting. <laughs> I just assumed <laughs> decades of spreading lies and misinformation had caught up with you. Nonsense! It is my dedication to truth that endangers my well-being, and I have uncovered the most startling truth imaginable. The Lord of Murder has returned, as he did a hundred years ago. Oh boy. Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red 
with the blood of the innocent. And just as then, he has more than one chosen to manifest his gruesome plot. He has Oren, and he has you. Oh, okay. He knows some stuff. It was stuff. all about you. He knows some stuff. <laughs> Can't let you live. Oh, interesting. Ball does not have me. I reject his influence. I see that. You have at least a measure of self-control. But Ball's inheritance is not shrugged off so easily. The heart of a ball spawn is a flipped coin that lands on its edge. Yours is a family set on self-slaughter. When there are two or more, they will destroy one another until a single heir to the throne of blood remains. In times gone by, there was an errant-hearted ball spawn who stood against his foul father and brother, Saravok. Mm -hmm. Optimist that I am, I hope you are of similar heroic vintage. <laughs> mm, I hope so too. I believe you will be. And I'd like to help the only way I know how, with a guidebook. This one did not flow from my quill, but from that of the wizard Irenicus. It is a study of the Slayer and may give you a much needed edge when you face Baal's Chosen. Cool. What's a Slayer? Is this a D&D thing that you know of? I don't know. The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep. Ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they've True. seen too much. Once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. No more sleeping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what about Irenicus? A genius. Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it mm. was a Baal spawn who thwarted him. The same that saved Baldur's Gate. Okay. Uh, I might need more than a book to face Baal's Chosen. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. I feel like we could just do it now. Probably. Um, I think we can handle this. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Two or three at most. <laughs> Alright, let me read this. Even though this child of Baal has thus far been squandering the gift of their unholy blood, it seems that Baal's lash is inescapable. The graven god now has besieged them with the slayer, the beast and prophet. And when they turn, their mind is broken, more broken than all my torments could ever rend it to. I spent all this while testing the captive spawn with my experiments, trying to extract more of Baal's gifts from them, but they have brought the Slayer upon themselves. It seems that it manifests in moments of pure hatred, a divine hatred those of mortal blood cannot fathom. When the child of Baal hates in a way that pleases their lord, Baal himself descends upon them as his own avatar. Despite all the Baal spawn of Candlekeep has done to prevent Saravok's uprising, it seems Father must love them dearly indeed to intervene personally on their behalf. Perhaps if I continue my routine of absorbing all of the divine essence I extracted, 
while the spawn was my captive. I can force Ball's magic to quicken in my own blood, trick the fool god into thinking I'm one of his own children. Thus may I tame the beast for myself. The book then continues with a detailed record of Irenicus' uh, experimental attempts to transform the Slayer. Absorbing all of the divine essence I extracted. Perhaps if I continue my routine of absorbing all the divine essence I extracted while the spawn was captive, I can force Ball's magic to quicken in my own blood, trick the fool god. Okay, so interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't really know how to put that into practice Me in this neither. game. Me neither. But the book is very special. It's orange. <laughs> uh, absorbing all the divine essence I extracted while the spawn was my captive. Divine essence from this. So maybe there's something that will come up where we we find like spawn essence. Or maybe it has to do with, uh, you know, like you've kind of not taken in the power. Yeah, I've resisted the urges. Maybe that's the how you get the essence that Maybe. they're talking about. Yeah, it could be that too. Uh, we'll have to. We'll just have to keep that in the back of our minds for now. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so should we rest? Let's rest. Yep. Let's get back to work. Da -doom, doom, 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 doom. Does the murder strike? Uh, no. Uh, no. Bye. Kind of disappointed that it doesn't strike. Yeah. Yeah. Murder is fun. I get it. So the Steel Watch Foundry. Um, oh, we got a teleporter here. Yeah, I, we caught that during the fight, actually. Is there anything at the harbor that we want? We we found a bunch of like harbor keys. This is not the harbor. There's another harbor. There's a whole area over here too. Damn. Yeah. We're trying to find a way into this, right? Yeah, like the gate's locked. Whoa, hello, oh, someone's talking to me. Wave mother. Queen of the depths. Hear me. Yes, hello. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please. Sorry, are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started. Oh, they're just inside. Uh, okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am here for the funeral. Obviously. There's enough offerings in here for a trip to the vault. Off you go. They won't need any of this mugwort or autumn crocus or weave moss. Or balsam. I'm following the singing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Glorious wave mother. Pour fury upon the beast responsible. Justice. Leave its master. A bloated carcass in the spume. Should I talk to her and just interrupt the funeral? <laughs> well, I'm carrying a trident, so maybe I should interrupt. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're more water than I am. Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless guards and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the wave mother's <laughs> fallen daughter? Oh, um, oh, that's funny. Roar. Give her your weapon. It's the second time you can give away your weapon in this playthrough. I, uh... Give I'm her your cold. weapon. No! Give her your weapon. You don't even like it. The, you don't the even, trident? You don't even like it. I love it. You hate it. I just wish it had more input. You hate it. 
Go back to the old Karlak. Give her the weapon. I brought gold. A fine offering. <laughs> Always appreciated in the so eyes much of gold. the Wade Mother. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. So, <laughs> did this person drown? Yes. Thank the Wave Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. She's got a, a lot going on there. Metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. Oh. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into unbelievable. A steel watch, maybe? Or uh, maybe that something to do with that submarine? Oh, yeah, it could be. Um, I, You know, I'm good at slaying beasts. Maybe I could help you? The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her. And her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. True. Find the Probably. master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Maybe you'll get a trident too. I can only dream. <laughs> Where can I find the beast's master? The beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber. It is probably that submarine. And skewer it before it wakes. Yeah, makes sense. This precious gift, it, it isn't drowning, is it? <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. Oh, darn. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Rejoice. Hey. Inspired. Avenge the Drowned. Holly's corpse was retrieved by Grey Harbor Fishers. They might know more about the beast. Uh, killed by noxious polluting beasts around Grey Harbor. Make an offering for the dead wave servant. So where are these fishermen? By the docks. To the docks! These boots have seen everything. Don't, don't actually steal stuff. It's a challenge for me. Gowlin. Hells, it's oil. everywhere still. I don't suppose you've got any experience getting oil out of sealed wood. Oil? This isn't black blood? Of course not. You've been talking to that lot from the Water Queen's house, haven't you? Now, did you want something, or do you just have an interest in fishing vessels? I guess this is the guy. Uh, I'm looking into the death of a wave servant. Do you know anything about it? Oh, sure. In fact, we fished her out of the water. Me and Fleer here were out on the water casting our nets, expecting to find the usual crop of halibut. Then, all of a sudden, my net starts dragging, and there's a bloody wave serving all twisted up in it. We took her back to the docks to try and help her, but she was already dead. Well, we know what happened to her body. Um, did you see anything else unusual? We both saw some sort of wake moving towards the docks when we picked her up, but there weren't any other boats around. Maybe it was something big moving underwater. Yeah. We already have know. it solved, buddy. It was weird, whatever it was. So we need Kinda to like look like it might have been heading towards that building across the channel. Actually. We gotta we gotta we gotta get it out of them though. What happened to her body? The other wave servants came to get it. Uh, her. Sorry. <laughs> they took huh. her back to the temple. Can hear the bloody catawalling from here. Catawall. That's nice. Why are there so many dead fish floating in the harbor? Bugged if I know. Might be something to do with all that oil in the water. It's too bad we can't sell them. Bloody waste, if you ask me. Just sell the oil. Is your boat all right? The boat's fine, but the nets are in tatters. Need to deal with all this oil before we can fix them, though. I know how to get rid of the oil. Yeah. Fireball. Seriously. Ah, uh, yeah. Avenge the drowned. Search flim cargo for the beasts. Master. And we were underneath Flim Cargo before. I went to the city sewers. And we already marked it. Come back. It was that, uh. This way. Okay, 
shall follow you. Okay. It was that like oozy passageway up. Yeah. We still haven't found that skull, Saren's skull. Hmm. Assuming that's what we need to find. Yeah. It would make sense. Yeah. The skull is imbued with light, or the, the skeleton's imbued with light. That's interesting. I wonder if that guy's still here. <laughs> the unconscious guy? Find out. He's gone. He is gone. Look at him. He woke up. He survived. Good for him. What the hell? Oh, I guess I'm up here for some reason. He went up a ladder, I think. Not intentionally, I didn't. Nothing, nothing there. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. I remember where it is. I just wonder, like, maybe do a save here. Why? What do you Maybe planning? we're approaching this from the wrong way, but. That's fine. We do. We do. Hold on. I gotta get Gale off of here. He's incapable. Immediately. You should probably do the talking here. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping you would let me. <laughs> <laughs> is Gale coming? Yeah, he is. Okay, who's in who's in charge down here? You whack jobs out there killing people with your giant submarine of death. Red Hammer the Divisor. I come in peace. He's not gonna want to fight us. He's one dude. What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. Journal updated. You Avenge the drown. a metal contraption in the water. Avenge the drown. Yeah. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Why is this submersible here? What is this place? The only port in this whole bleeding city that matters. Now, why are you here? Did Gortas send you? Uh, yeah, boss sent me to check up on the situation here. Need a 15. Can you hit me with a guidance? Nope. Oh, cool. Right. Didn't need it. You don't no have to ask how we do it if good I could. News, right? Especially with the rough water between here and the Iron Throne. No prisoners lost in the last batch of runs either. Though them servants huh. of Umbly are making the trip damn near deadly. Okay. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe they'll teach them to keep out of the way. Yeah, that's usually how it works. So we, if we would have come and talked to him before, we probably could have learned this and then, you know. Um, I've never heard of this Iron Throne. It's an underwater prison. Most oh, secure cool. in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Lord Gortash keeps some Gondians there. Collateral to keep those working in the Steel Watch Foundry under control. That's definitely Will's voice actor. How about... What, like, do we want to go there? Yeah, if we could. Do you now? Boss never sends anyone that away but prisoners. Oh, cool. Um, I meant to go, trust me, as he flexes. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. He sent me ahead and said your payment would follow. 25. Yo, that's going to be tough. I get a plus 12 guaranteed, so I need to roll, uh, what, 13? Did it. Too easy. Too easy huh. for Rod. Not like him to surprise me, but mad times. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them. 
or me. I'll get cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Okay, that's cool. So we didn't have to like call him out on this thing, and now we're gonna get access to whatever this iron throne is. So we just we just hop in the sub. Go in? Should we should we hop in now or should we cliffhang? <laughs> Cliffhanger! Okay, he, he's called it, guys. It's it's fair. We're going to have to cliffhang here. When we come back, we're going into the sub. Bye. Bye.